Yo, what's good, Everyday Superpower, where we learn about psychology, body language, relationships, gaming, everything in between. Blah, 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 blah. I'm going to talk about something. A lot of these videos from here on, or at least, you know, so much of them are going to come through the opinions, the perspectives and the mind of women. Because I speak to a lot of women and it's such an incredible experience to see the world through their eyes and listen to them and recalibrate my understanding of human nature and human beings through aligning myself centrally through the eyes and the brain of the masculine and outwards and under the skin of the feminine that exists, the yin to the yang, the understanding is phenomenal. A girl told me the other day, I love it. Let, let me get it to a T. Let me get it to a T. I love it when you demand for it. Yes? Is it in a sexual nature? You tell me. Alright? It's irrelevant. She told me, I love it when you demand for it, yeah? Of course, you need to create a space as to which it is safe and secure for you to do so. You can't run out of the, um, you know, the starting gate per se and start being Bobby Big Bollocks and just creating this uncertain nervous energy in this bold brash um assertive character within the first moment there needs to be some security and comfort established within your relationship but that doesn't take long it does not take long all right it does not take long it will vary from person to person but it won't take long I love it when you demand for it, yeah? Because it's mine at this point. Give me it, yeah? You perform in your role as the feminine, the submissive, and I will perform in my role as the dominant. And biologically, you will react. And I do not care whether this woman is in a masculine frame, believes she is a masculine entity, just abides by this world view that she has to act in a particular manner there is something deep down inside of her animalistically that correlates with the vice versa as much as you might want to meet her halfway if she's like in this extra masculine space you might have to dumb it down and feminize yourself a bit or go even more 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 overt with your masculine energy uh, which can be exhausting it can be exhausting at the very foundational level that's a woman and that's a man you see where i'm coming from so i don't i think i think let, let let's say you got Two bouncy balls, yeah? One's a red ball and one's a blue ball, yeah? One bounces higher than the other, yeah? One one has a better bounce than the other, okay? Oh, I, li I, like, I like my bouncy balls that can only bounce so far, right? But unfortunately, bounces a bit higher than that. That does not stop the fact that it's a red bouncy ball or a blue bouncy ball, all right? That does not make a difference as far as what it actually is. Let's say the red correlates with the feminine and the blue correlates with the masculine. They're both separate entities. They're both clearly defined as to what they are. And they both come together in harmony. Yeah, regardless of how it acts. Regardless of what it wants to be. Regardless of all of these external factors and aesthetic choices. What comes before the psychological is the biological. Alright? Prior to the development of the mind and the brain is the evolutionary hardwiring that exists within us. I love it when you demand for it. You learn to say and ask and take things when necessary. 
you don't jump in there. You make a few mistakes and they'll say, bloody hell, what are you saying that about? I went on a date. We were speaking. She goes to me. We're talking about the workplace. I like, I say, I like entrepreneurial eff- efforts outside of the workplace. Um, not too fussed about having a boss, this, that, and the third. And she goes, you know what? I, li- I like being employed. I like being told what to do, right? I didn't have to respond to that. That's That's good news to me, right? Brilliant. That's good. Later on in the day, we go to the bar. She's there looking at it, being indecisive about what she wants to drink. I'm saying, what do you want to drink? Because I was buying it first round. I thought, all right, cool, cool. I'll put my card out. And I say to her, what are you getting? And she goes, oh, 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 reacts in such a manner. And I just brought it up at that point. You said you like being told what to do. All right. I'm going to dictate to you, make a decision, make a choice. I'm not going to sit here forever. You're indecisive because you want me to take the lead. Indirectly, it might be a biological shit test to see where I stand. If I'm going to exist there for five minutes, uh, I don't know. Why don't you pick your your favorite drink? What do you like? I mean, we can meet halfway to some extent, but sometimes it's not worth it. And sometimes you need to know when it's going a bit too far and when you can settle the issue in a positive manner, when you can sort of... St- Step outside of that boundary you've created just ever so much just to push it a little bit because you know you've got a a safety net there. My safety net was earlier on she told me that. So when she reacted just like, oh, I just said you you said you like being taught to do. Boom. It's a turn on. I've paid attention. I've got attention to detail. Yeah. I can demand for it because she has overtly or not overtly, indirectly, obliquely told me that I can demand for it. If she likes a boss, if she feels comfortable with a boss, if she feels comfortable with an authoritarian figure sort of looking after her and guiding the way, I'll be that person. It's, it's, I was going to say it's a deep game, but at this point in my life, it's not even a deep game. It's self-explanatory. Stop looking at the world through the eyes of a man. It's not the case. Look through the world. Look through the eyes of a woman. Yeah. If you're a salesperson, look at the world through the eyes of your consumer, yeah? I love it when you demand for it. The man who demands for it isn't sheepishly waiting around for her to take direction and for her to put herself forward and for her to make the action. It's not going to happen. It's not going to work like that through so many different varieties of reason. First and foremost, she's a woman. She's not going to do that. You're a man. You should do that. Secondly, she wants to see some degree of leadership in you. It's going to be tough for her or it's going to be desperate for her to get in a relationship with you or genuinely feel some sort of attraction to you if you are consistently pedestalizing her and placing yourself below her because although that might be what she wants given her worldview, appreciates that. Biologically speaking, unconsciously speaking, what happens if you're going to be below her? She can take her feet and walk all over you, yeah? It is what it is. Is she supposed to protect you as well? Because as the weaker sex, as the fairer sex, she's not going to be able to do so. As somebody who runs on estrogen as opposed to testosterone, it's going to be a little tougher for her to look after you and lead you in that regard. So we can all say, yes, 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 everyone's the same and everyone's equal and this and that. But we do have some separate characteristics and chemical balances, yeah? And when we accentuate and make known safely where we exist we can allow them to feel comfortable where they exist the pieces will fall naturally we might have to orchestrate it because the world we live in tries to confuse you and tries to manipulate you into believing otherwise but when we learn who we are and how we should be and it starts to make sense and we start to see the positive reaction and feedback through the world we exist in, through the women we communicate within. It just becomes second nature purely as 
why would you do anything else? When you go to the gym and you learn how to squat, yeah? You never squat in an inappropriate manner again because it establishes the right motion and to do it incorrect is to potentially harm yourself. We don't want to hurt ourselves. Our body doesn't want to hurt ourselves. So we start to work around incorrect form and we start to execute perfectly each and every time the more and more we do it. I love it when you demand. So go forth and take what you want, man. On that note, I'm signing out. Two links down in the description. One of them will take you through to my YouTube playlist. The catalogue of body language, right? You'll learn how to read people purely through observing the videos there. I'll see you on the flip side. Click subscribe. You know we got game here consistently, yeah?